So this is where we left off. Um, I'm gonna raise the video camera. Bye. And uh, I'm also going to erase this video input. And I'm gonna take away this sign modulation. Uh, we're gonna use noise as a way of, of modulating our input. Um, and there's various ways you can accomplish that. I guess that the simplest way would be by just using the noise operator here. Um, and there's a few things you can do with this because in this case it doesn't look particularly interesting. It just makes a noisy cube. Um, you can scale the, the value so that it doesn't go that far. But it's completely unpredictable so it's not that interesting. There's no patterns that you can discern from that. Um, because it's noise, so it's part of the price. Um, there's a more interesting source that we can use for noise, and that's jit.bfg, which is something that people love using, so let's just use it. Um, let's make it a single plane video uh, with float32, and let's, we can have it have the same dimensions as whatever our grid is. Um, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into the help because I can just copy this over there. I'm going to copy the basis message and the offset message. And the reason I'm going to do this is so that we can actually create like the impression that the noise is moving. Um, but really we're just changing the kind of like the offset. So let's see this on a P window. I can use it on noise. And I'm going to use the Voronoi function, and I'm going to use our mode time as a way of getting our offset from Voronoi. And it seems like it's not working. Oh. Ah, of course, I need to be sending a bang to, to the BFG, so I need a trigger bang uh, list. So I'm going to send this list into the trigger bang list, and then send the bang over here, and then send the upside over here, and this should just be one plane. We only need one plane. Uh, I'm going to pick up Voronoi again. And I'm going to set the resolution over here. And then we can take this normalized video and send it over there to our grid. So we can see how this pattern of displacement that we see over here is also being applied over here. Um, the only thing is that it's not being particularly deep, so we can make it deeper. So we can see that kind of Voronoi-like wave pattern being shown on our on our uh, on our grid thing, uh, which is really cool. We can make it heavier, and it does look like ocean waves, I guess. And you can pick from whatever noise source that you might want. So this is noise distorted. So any kind of noise source that you can get your hands on from here is something that you can use. Um, some of them have different parameters that maybe are not what you want. And uh, there's a few things you can do with this. You can uh, scale it down so that it's not as radical, let's say. Um, so there you go, you have like your little waves being calculated by BFG, which is a very convenient way of doing this. Again, BFG does take a pretty hefty load of CPU, but that's worth it, I guess, if you like this. Um, so there you go, this is just another modulation source that you can use. And I guess that the point is that any kind of video source that you can think that is going to give you patterns or anything that you can think of that will allow you to manipulate the z-axis is something that you can perfectly validate and use, and it's going to create very interesting results.